Vasavi here. Let's work out few harder problems in proving the trigonometric identities today. So here is your first question. Like cosecant theta minus cot theta the whole square is equal to 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta. This is what we need to prove. So as usual let me start with my left hand side. So since on my right I have cos theta I would like to put my cosecant theta and cot theta in respect to my sine and cos okay so here the cosec theta is 1 over sine theta the reciprocal identity 1 over sine theta minus the cot theta is cos theta over the sine theta now let me square it the whole square now since the denominators are same I can just put one denominator in common and write the numerator as it is so that is 1 minus cos theta the whole square now let me give the square to the numerator and the denominator separately so I get 1 minus cos theta the whole square divided by sine theta the whole square right so the square I just give for the numerator and the denominator separately. This could be written as, let the numerator be as it is. It is 1 minus cos theta the whole square. I cannot write this as cos square theta because the square is for the whole thing. It is for 1 minus cos theta and not just for the cos theta. Okay. But the denominator, it is just one term there. So, I could write that as sine squared theta. Okay, I bring the theta inside. So, this could be written as the numerator. I am not disturbing. I am just writing it as it is. So, that's 1 minus cos theta the whole square divided by the sine squared theta. I am using the Pythagorean identity and I am expanded as 1 minus cos square theta okay 1 minus cos square theta let me write that as it is the numerator as it is divided by the denominator is in the form a square minus b square right i can make it like 1 square minus cos square so i am applying the formula a square minus b square equals this identity algebraic identity equals a plus b times a minus b right so here the a is 1 and the b is cos theta so let me split it like this so this becomes 1 plus cos theta the denominator becomes 1 plus cos theta times 1 minus cos theta right now you have 2 1 on top it is 1 minus cos theta the whole square. You can cut one of it with this. So you are left with 1 minus cos theta over 1 plus cos theta which is what you need to prove. So that is equal to your right hand side. Therefore your left hand side is equal to you started with the left hand side and you arrived at the right hand side value. So you have proved it. Next problem. So here you have cos A over 1 plus sin A plus 1 plus sin A over cos A equals 2 secant A. So let's start with the left hand side. I know I can't do anything to cos A and sin A. So I just find out the LCM of this. So that would be 1 plus sine A times cos A. You would multiply the denominator and then you cross multiply, right? You cross multiply this first. So that would give you cos square A and then you cross multiply this side and you put the sign here, okay? So that's plus sign and here it is. 1 plus sine a the whole square. It's just like normal fraction addition. 
let me expand this, okay? My cos squared theta, I just keep it as cos squared theta, cos squared a. Since it is given, the angle is given as a, you just continue with a. Don't change it to theta because cos a is not equal to cos theta unless otherwise specified. Okay, now cos square a, you wrote as it is and the plus sign, I have brought it down. This one plus sign a, the whole square, it is like a plus b the whole square, the algebraic identity, right? So the formula would be a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? So I am using that here. So your a is 1 and your b is sin a. So let me write that. So this is 1 square which is 1 plus sin square. That is b square is sin square, right? Sin square a. 2 times a is 1 times b is sin a. So that's 2 sin a. Got it? Close the brackets now. Divided by, don't forget to put the denominator. This is again cos a times 1 plus sin a. Okay? Fine. Cos squared a and sin square a together becomes 1. Right? So that is 1. Then you have plus another one over here, this one, okay? And then you have plus 2 sine A over, again you have the denominator is cos A times 1 plus sine A. This 1 and 1 let me add, so that would be 2 plus 2 sine A divided by cos A times 1 plus sin A. In the numerator, I find 2 as common, right? So let me take the 2 out. So when I take the common term 2 out, I would be getting 1 plus sin A here divided by the denominator you keep as it is, cos A times 1 plus sin A. Now I can cancel 1 plus sin A on the numerator with the 1 plus sin A at the denominator completely. So I am left with 2 over cos A. I can rewrite this as 2 times 1 over cos A, right? So that is, that implies 2 secant a. 1 over sin, cos A is secant A, right? So this is your RHS. Now you can say that your left hand side is equal to your right hand side. Hence, this problem is proved. You just need to use all your identities wherever necessary and just stick on to the rules and keep moving slowly, you will definitely end up with the right hand side. And here's the third problem. This is tan theta over 1 minus cot theta plus cot theta divided by 1 minus tan theta equals 1 plus secant theta cosecant theta. So here, let's start with the left hand side. Now, you see secant and cosecant here on your right, right? So, you let us, we can't do anything to tan and cot in order to get secant and cosecant. So, what I do is, I just write these tan and cot in terms of sine and cos, okay? So, the numerator tan theta, I can write it as sine theta over cos theta, whole thing divided by 1 minus cot theta, right? Cot theta is nothing but cos theta over sin theta. Do the same to the next set here too. So it's cot theta on top. So that would be cos theta divided by the sin theta. Whole thing divided by 1 minus tan. Tan is sin over cos. So I'm just writing that as sin theta over cos theta. Now the denominator, uh, let us uh, add 1, I mean let us do 1 minus cos theta 
the denominator and here you have 1 minus sine over cos, right? Let me solve that. So that is going to be, in the numerator I don't do anything, I just keep them as it is. So that is sine theta over cos theta whole thing, whole divided by, here I am finding the LCM, okay? I take this denominator as 1. So it is 1 times sine theta, which is sine theta here. And then you cross multiply as you know, we normally do for fraction, addition and subtraction. So 1 times sine theta is sine theta over here, minus, here this one would be cos theta, right? Okay. Now let's come to this side, here uh, to the second term. Again, the numerator, I just keep it undisturbed. So that is cos theta over sin theta, whole divided by, take the LCM here too. So that's the cos theta at the bottom, at the denominator of the denominator. And you cross multiply. So that gives you cos theta minus sine theta. Okay. Now, I'm just going to flip this, okay? I mean, yeah, I'll tell you, this is the numerator divided by the denominator, right? So, I would write like this. The numerator, I write it as sine theta over cos theta, okay? And the division, I write it like this, divided by Divided by what? It is sine theta minus cos theta, right? Over sine theta. So this portion I have written it like this. Add. Here too I am going to write the same way. So that is cos theta over the sine theta. Right? The numerator divided by the denominator. The de denominator is cos theta minus sine theta over cos theta. So the next step is to flip, make the denominator, I mean division as multiplication and flip the second term. So this is sine theta over cos theta. I flipped it. I mean, I mean I've converted the division. This division I have converted as uh, multiplication okay so what happens this has to be flipped put this upside down so that's sine theta over sine theta minus cos theta okay here this is plus cos theta over sine theta again put the multiplication sign and flip this this will be cos theta over cos theta minus sine theta. Close the brackets. The numerator is sine square theta, right? Sine square theta divided by cos theta times sine theta minus cos theta. Now just listen. Here we have sine theta minus cos theta but here this is cos theta minus sine theta. So just to make this as sine theta minus cos theta and taking the minus sign out. So when the minus sign comes out this plus times minus would become minus here this time. Okay this is minus and then you would have on top it is cos square theta divided by sine theta and this is changed now this becomes instead of cos minus sine it becomes sine theta minus cos theta okay and that sine is brought here that sine is brought here okay this minus sine is here let me take 1 over sine minus cos out, okay? The common term I'm taking out. So that would be 1 over sine theta because this is 
in both, right? Both the terms. So I'm just taking 1 over sine theta minus cos theta out. So what will you be left with? You would have here, you would have sine square theta over cos theta minus here again your 1 over sine theta cos theta has gone out. So here you will have cos square theta over sine theta. Close it. Now next step is to find the LCM for this. So this this side this one which you have taken out will remain outside as it is. So that is sine theta minus cos theta. Yeah, come on. So what would be inside here? You are going to take the LCM, right? So that becomes sine theta cos theta. You multiply the denominators, right? And then you cross multiply the fraction, uh, subtraction I am doing. So this becomes sine cubed theta minus cos cubed theta. So let me expand that. Now on top you have sine cube theta minus cos cube theta. So this is in the form a cube minus b cube. Okay. In algebra, algebraic identity. So here the formula would be a minus b times a square plus a b plus b square. Okay. So I just apply that here. So here your a is sine theta and b is cos theta, right? So this become sine theta minus cos theta, a minus b, right? So that's sine theta minus cos theta times sine square theta. A square is sine square theta plus ab. Ab is sine theta cos theta, right? plus b square. Your b square is cos square theta. Okay. Close the brackets. This one I just gave you as a hint like how I expanded using the algebraic identities. So don't get that confused with the, your actual answer. So this is whole thing divided by sine theta cos theta. Close it. This one here, the sine theta cos theta here will be cancelled with this sine theta cos theta. And now you are left just with sine square theta plus sine theta cos theta plus cos square theta, right? Divided by sine theta cos theta. So this sine square plus cos square, the identity, Pythagorean identity becomes 1. 1 plus theta cos theta divided by sine theta cos theta. Okay. Now, I'll just give the denominator separate. Okay. For each, on the, each term on the numerator separately. So I write 1 over sine theta cos theta plus sine theta cos theta over sine theta cos theta. So again, what happens? These two would cancel and it becomes 1 here. So you have 1 over sine theta here is cosecant theta, right? Times 1 over cos theta is secant theta plus this one okay you have here so this is what you need to prove as your RHS so your LHS is equal to your RHS and the problem is hence proved that's it hope you all would have understood right it is as simple as this. Keep using your identities which we have learned so far in the right place and arrive at the answer. Good luck. Bye.